Welcome Sorry, back no. to the V Brown Bag Tech Talks uh, in V Forum Sydney. Thanks very much to Nutanix for sponsoring us and making it all possible. And uh, joining me today is my good friend Craig Waters, who is the leader of the very successful Melbourne VMUG, coming to tell you the story of how to make things successful. Hi, uh, so my name is Craig Waters. Uh, my Twitter account's CSWaters1, and um, I'm a V expert, and I'm also the Melbourne uh, VMUG leader. And today I'd like to talk about the, uh, how to build a, a VMUG chapter and just some of the interesting uh, challenges that you face in, in going down that journey. So let's get into it. Okay, so for the agenda, I've got um, seven fairly simple, straightforward items here. So the first one's management, and then we'll talk about community, which is a very important part. We've got the sponsors, uh, content, venue, prizes. So what do points make? Prizes and marketing as well. So we'll, we'll kick off with that one first. Yeah. So on to management. Yeah. So um, my, my first piece of advice really is, is forming a steering committee. Yeah. Uh, it's not all on one person to do, which is which makes it really important. Um, I put it here. Don't try this on your own, as it's not fun. And, and I have done it for a while independently, and, and like there's a lot of work to do there. So really, really the idea is is um, you know if you form a steering committee, then that way what you can do is you can cross skill people in the steering committee, get them involved in all the different aspects of, of the logistics of organising and running the VMUG. And then that way as well, it means that um, you know if, if someone's not available or can't attend, you know the other guys can then come together and just fill in that gap so you're not dependent upon a just pretty much like uh, IT infrastructure you know you don't really have a single point of failure which, which is quite important yeah the other one is, is to have co-leaders so uh, VMUG have recently uh, changed the, the um, rules really on how who can be a leader um, so, so we, you know, traditionally it's always been a case of like that the leader must be a customer, but that's been changed recently so that vendors and integrators can um, co-lead as well. But you still do need a, a customer to lead. So, really, I think this is a good idea um, if you get vendors and integrators involved because really, you know, that, that's kind of part of the um, job description is is get involved in the community and and like you know they can spend some time on that and then they can also help potentially with sponsorship and stuff as well. So. But I think that's the best way to go, really. Uh, next on's community, then. So, you know, what's a VMUG without an audience? That's really my, my big question. But I, I think in this case, you know, the, the old adage holds true, you know, build it and they will come. So if you just get on and do it, just get, have a go and, and, and get into it, uh, you will find that people will be interested, there'll be local interest, people will come along, and then from there it gives you a platform to build and, and move forward there, yeah? So, you know, have the community involved and, and get them to pa participate in the agenda as well, you know. And in that way, really, and I think that's kind of a big thing, is, is it's really about building your own local rock stars, you know, like your, your V rock stars. And, and, that, and that's kind of the idea, is, is you build this platform for community people to, to um, you know, deliver content to. And, and really, it's, it really helps you build that community and, um, and go from there. And, and look, when you're starting out as well, you know, you can always ask uh, companies like VMware to um, get some of their guys, to, tech marketing guys, to come along and do some presentations, and that will help you spark interest as well. You know, there's nothing like a, a build name being on there uh, to to get people, you know, get people interested in their local VMUG and, and, and build that audience out. So, the so next one, sponsors, yeah, and look, really, sponsors are a critical component of a VMUG because they're the guys that pay for stuff. You know, you need sponsors to pay for a venue, you need them to pay for audio visual and possibly even V beers afterwards. We found that really useful, you know, like again, uh, building incentive into the event so that people will come and turn up. And there's nothing like free beer. I mean, we all want free beer at the end of the day, don't we? So also, um, you know, you can get the sponsors uh, to help with the prizes as well. So there's, again, there's nothing like a good incentive of having a, you know, a, you know, a, a medium, mid-sized prize to go there, you know, like an Apple TV or some good headphones or something like that. Something that sparks interest that gets people motivated to come along and see what's going on. And you know this is probably the, the other uh, single biggest thing uh, of a uh, VMUG, and that's the content. Yeah, you know, and I've put quite a bit of information there. I think it's really important. You know, like that you uh, set the expectation with all your sponsors when they come and present that. Um, you know, this is not a, a architecture sell slide um, uh, propaganda situation. It's what, what I tend to do is I, I, I'll say to a sponsor, I'll say, look, you know, think of your audience as already of purchase the product and what they want to do is they want to really know about how they can get the best use of implementing it and using it. And I think that's really important. You know, like uh, VMUGs love 
technical content. We love demo, live demos and anything that goes beyond just your standard sales slide, um, sales slide decks, you know. I think it's a really critical piece of information that needs to be passed on to all potential sponsors, yeah. Also, there's the uh, getting the community to lead the presentations as well, you know, so empowering your audience to contribute, yeah. And, you know, it just needs to be something as simple as, like, how you implemented X or, or even, like, you know, um, in our company we implemented VMware in this way or those sort of things. And obviously there's, there's, there's like, um, stuff around IP and that, but it's quite easy to make it uh, anonymous, yeah. But just keep it really simple and, and, and that's what, you know, that's what people want. They want to, you know, when you, when you in the audience and you come to a vmug you, you want to know about how other people are doing stuff yeah that, 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 you know that's kind of the whole point of getting people together face to face and discussing these things so and and you know show them show the benefits of presenting as well so obviously yeah, it's yeah. about things like you know gi giving back to the community and um, you know providing uh, the audience you know with some valuable content and, and and it's really you know the it's a sympathetic audience and i think that's kind of the important thing is is that even if you're not the best presenter in the world or you're new to presenting you know, you, you, it gives you that opportunity to present it in front of a group of people who are, you know, sympathetic to your cause, and so you know that, they'll help you uh, establish that um, expertise and learning how to present. You know, an important piece really uh, of the whole VMUG uh, um, process, if you like. Yeah. So the next one's venue. Yeah. So look, it, probably straightforward to say this. Yeah. But look, the more central and the easier it is to get to, then the more people will come. Yeah. It doesn't have to be the best venue in the world. You know, just as long as it's big enough and, and, and the audio and visual um, technology there is available is good enough as well, yeah? I mean, you know, you know if you're having trouble finding a, a, a venue and, and, you know, from the Melbourne VMWorks perspective, we, we had quite a lot of um, issues around finding a decent venue, um, you know, get a sponsor involved, you know, get a local sponsor to, to sponsor uh, paying for the venue, yeah? You know, even if it's, you know, just to help to cover the costs, yeah, and, and, and consider, like, public buildings as well. I mean, using public buildings is usually quite a cheap way to do it, like, you know, a local town hall, a local whatever, you know, whatever it takes sort of thing, you know. But um, the best thing to do really is, is to build a package out of what you need for the costs, and then that way it's just a one-off fee to your sponsor. And, and it just makes it really easy to engage sponsors on, on getting the options of like how, you know how you can pay for a venue, and and, and you know if you're lucky enough to get um, a venue with more than one room, you know then don't don't try and uh, complicate how you do your agenda. Just duplicate a standard stream. So instead of having one stream, have two streams, and then and just have different themes for those streams. You know, keep it simple. You know, there, there's a lot of effort in the logistics of it, and we all want to analyze how the, how the, the, the makeup of a VMUG and the components that, that go into doing a, a quarterly meeting. But at the end of the day, it's really about that content and just getting that content to your audience. And prizes is, is a really important part, really, of, of the, the VMUG. You know, it's all about incentive and getting people to come along. Uh, one of the big uh, proponents of the VMA really is, ed is education. I think it's a critical, a critical piece really is, is like providing information to your audience about educating about, you know, the, the technology, the, how to implement it. And, and look, some of the great things that uh, I'd suggest is around uh, engaging with local education companies. You know, try and um, engage with companies like uh, VMware Press and uh, VMware Education, get them involved to provide like books and training and, and all those sort of things, yeah. And also look at like, um, you know, national and global education companies as, you know, we've had success in the past in engaging with them and having them provide prizes. Um, also, um, the VMUG does actually assist with a prize budget, so each VMUG chapter gets a, a prize budget and, and with that budget you can go onto the, the um, VMUG store and buy things like pens, cups, all those sort of things and like uh, apparel, clothes, all, all that kind of stuff and it just adds again to the experience. You know, if you've got a good set of three or four prizes, then you know, you can spark interest through questions, through using social media like Twitter, those sort of things and it really just adds to the event on the night and it's all about building that um, that awareness of like, you know, come to the VMUG and, and see what great stuff's going on sort of thing. So. Uh, and finally, we're, we're just on to the marketing. I think, you know, th th this is kind of really a po important part. It's, it's great building a VMO, but then you need to market it as well. You need to let everybody in your local area know about it. And, and, and even globally as well, there's nothing better than getting a tweet or a, um, 
you know, some information from some from you know overseas saying, oh look what the Melbourne VMUG's doing, oh look what your VMUG's doing, Let, let's get involved, let's like participate. And that can be a great way to bolster um, the community, you know, globally, not not just locally, you know. So again VMware will assist, you know, sorry, VMUG will will assist with um, like emailing your attendees and, and uh, and, VML, and, and VM, VMware will want to, um, to present at the VMWG too. So, you know, it's really about getting those people involved in, in, and, and leveraging, you know, things like, uh, you, you know, where, where training courses are being delivered and, uh, you know, getting the word out. And, and, and just use, you know, use your standard social media tools, use things like Twitter, use things like uh, Google Plus and, and LinkedIn to build a local audience, and and you know we I talked briefly there before about the um, V Rock Stars. You know, look at find out if you've got local bloggers. If you've got local bloggers, engage them, invite them to come along to the VMUG, get them to blog and tweet about about their experience at the VMUG. You know, it goes a long way. It goes a real long way that kind of marketing. So, um, I, I think that's it. Thank you very much for this opportunity to do a tech talks, and I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, Craig. It's been uh, great having you on. And uh, Melbourne VMUG is my home VMUG, despite the fact I live nowhere near it. This has been another of the V Brown Bag Tech Talks from V Forum in Sydney.